Okay, hi YouTubers. I'm in a different room. I'm in my room that I like to call the office even though it's probably a mess. But um, yeah, I'm sitting by my PC because I want to tell you some stuff. Because in my last video I spoke to you about um, Aubrey Organics B5 Gel and the... I haven't got them up here actually. And the Aubrey Organics Moisturizing Jelly. And I said that I was using those because I wanted to try out gels that don't have PVPs in them which are um, artificial polymers and I've just been sitting here trying to do some research and I was looking into the ingredients of kinky curly custard I've never tried kinky curly custard but everyone says it's great and I did mention in my last video that I was looking for a biopolymer now I found out that kinky curly custard does have a biopolymer it has pectin in it so if you want to avoid um, gels that are going to create um, hardness in your hair, um, some of the ingredients that you should be looking for would be, the first one would be pectin. Um, and that's um, a sugar, that is, I think it's a sugar or a sweetener that's usually used in jam and it's a thickener. Um, so that's what they use in Kinky Curly Custard. But I've just found a document and I'm just reading through some of these other things that are used in hair products that are actually good for forming curls so for example xanthan gum it says here it's used for um, thickening it's used to stabilize emulsions um, it's soluble in hot or cold water and it's stable in a range of pH temperatures and I'm telling you guys this as well just in case you want to make any hair products and xanthan gum is one that's frequently used especially in the homemade hair gel which I've made and um, I got from Revive UK and just the other day someone else loaded it I'm gonna put her name up because I just recently subscribed to her so yeah xanthan gum is good it says it has an excellent compatibility in the presence of anionic actually forget that because I don't even know what that is um, but it can be used with surfactants so it won't um, it shouldn't um, have any reaction with any conditioners or shampoos um, and it's naturally derived so it's 100% natural Duh, 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 duh. there were some other interesting things so it says that um, it's usually used in oil and water emulsions and it's used in lotions, creams, sunscreens, hair care products, makeup, mascara, eyeliner, face mask packs, toothpaste, shampoo, shower gel, shaving foams um, another one they've got on here is Gelan Gum, G-E-L-L-A-N Gum. Never heard of it, not going to try it, so I'm passing that one. But I have heard of this next one, um, Karaginan, C-A-R-R-A-G-E-E-N-A-N. When I was looking for um, gels that had natural PVPs or that some kind of natural holding element, I did come across this one called Karagian. Um and there are different forms of carrageen but carrageen comes from red seaweeds and kappa carrageens form strong brittle gels lotta carrageens form soft elastic gels and lambda carrageens form non gelin thickeners but i think on the ingredients on the back of any product it will just say carrageen um, when I edit this together properly, I'll probably um, go through some of the products that I've found that have these ingredients in. And carrageens used in skin lotions, hair care products, eye makeup, toothpaste, shaving foams, and air freshener gel. But again, that's a natural product. And then we come to pectin, which I was just talking about. Um, apart from adding... So it says it adds structure through gelation. Build uh, vis viscosity build up. It's kind to the skin. Pectin gels on the skin can provide moisture absorption and be skin friendly.
Pectin is well known as the gel forming component of fruits and as an ingredient for many food products. Uh, the inclusion of pectin on product labels is generally regarded favourably by consumers, which is what is used in kinky curly custard, and I believe that's what helps to um, form your curls. All the other ingredients just uh, are, are good for, for hair, as well as the argive nectar. That probably helps to form the curls as well, as well as um, attracting moisture. Um, so another thing I wanted to mention to you was the B5 gel and the moisturizing jelly by Aubrey Organics. They use these things here. This is gum arabic and it's actually used in cake making but it can be used um, to create a hair gel which I'm going to try and do um, and to help create hold. So this creates hold. Um, and then there's this one, gum tarragonth, gum tarragonth, and that again helps create hold. And this is what is in, it's just a powder, I haven't opened them yet. That's what's in the B5 and the moisturising jelly.